Welcome home, Bitcoin truth seekers. It is Tuesday, January 19th, 7.52 a.m. here in the Arizona desert. BitcoinDailyView.com. It's got it all for you. All right. Not financial advice, entertainment purposes only. I'm not a financial advisor or a life coach. But with that said, Blockchain Bytes, Goldman Sachs investigates crypto custody. All right. Now, I mentioned this the other day. I'm just mentioning it, mentioning it again because most likely entertainment purposes only, of course. I doubt this was just by chance leaked. I would imagine this is a very strategic move, and Goldman Sachs has probably been OTCing the crap out of Bitcoin for a while. Now look at this, pay attention, Grayscale adds X 18x the Bitcoin mine supply in one day. They took a break over the weekend, buying, now they're at it again, hardcore. All right, looking at the USD market, well, crypto against USD, beautiful, beautiful day in the market. Bitcoin's in the green, above 37,000. Again, that's really an important level. I love it. Ethereum, 14, 1400, rocking. ADA, sorry, sorry, Cardano, dot, uh, not doing so well. But Wi-Fi, what happened? You've been kicking ass. Well, anyway, some things are taking a break that were pumping, and now things that were not pumping are pumping, like Litecoin up 7%, rocking XRP, 30 cents. Take that evil empire that wants to control XRP, even though XRP is an aspect of the evil empire. Doesn't matter. It's winning. I'll take it. Uh, Ethereum against Bitcoin up 12%. That's amazing. XRP against Bitcoin 4.7%. LTC against Bitcoin 5%. As Bitcoin gets sideways, as we see here, the Bitcoin dominance down to 65%. We'll take a look at that right here. Boom! It's had some serious drops recently, which as we can see, looking at Ethereum against Bitcoin, that is some serious alt-market action. Alt-season, I don't actually believe in it, but I can just say that alts are really happening. If you look at Ethereum, it shows us that there is an alt-season happening. I mean, against dollar, there is an alt-season. Against BTC, there's an alt-season whenever it goes sideways long enough. Now, when we do see a chart like this, like this well, when we see this all green, more than 51% dark green, then I think it's going to be alt-season when you're looking at alts against BTC. But I think people focus on it way too much. If you're in ETH, if you got into ETH like uh, on Friday, look, it's up 12%, or even well, yesterday, really, it's up 12% now, then it's alt season. I don't know what people are waiting for with this alt season thing. If you can comment and let me know what does alt season, what, how do you define it? What does it mean? Why should I care? I'm in ETH. I was in ETH versus Bitcoin. Also, I'm up. It's alt season for me. Do people just think if they just buy any alt, it's going to 10x or something? Anyway, I think it is a retarded concept, so I'm kicking it out. I'm, not, I'm never going to mention alt season again, ever. It's stupid. Volume for Bitcoin last 24 hours, 5.1 billion, 2.8 billion of that on Binance, and no one else showed up for work. All right, so where all that glorious volume is on Binance, 58% long, 41% shorts. That's tight, but in general, the, the sentiment is long. Bitcoin uh, on the daily here. Bitcoin definitely taking a big dump today as far as uh, dominance, and that's cool. It gives the market some chances, to, it gives the alts some chance to make some serious move. Uh, how many Bitcoin is, does it cost to buy a gold coin today? Twenty. I'm sorry, how many gold coins does it cost to buy a Bitcoin today? 20. Wow. Look at traditional markets since they're showing up, since we're back in action, since the business world is open once again. Today, we're not opening with any huge pump or dumps, but the uh, S&P 500 up top and the Russell 2000 below it are at least in the green as they open today, and the DXY taking a little bit of a red dump. So not too bad, but it's not opening strong, which might make for some easy uh, Bitcoin and alt moves this day since uh, DXY is down and Bitcoin dominance is down. Well. Let's watch ETH today. Just a little tip on tip for you there. Um, and other alts, Bitcoin USDT. So Bitcoin versus USDT, somehow, by the love of glory, we actually closed yesterday on a green candle. That's really, really wonderful. I didn't think that was going to happen. We got a green candle today, and the uh, bodies are basically in alignment, the top and the bottom, so that's very, very good. Still a negative MACD, but we are beginning to close that in a positive direction, looking at this on a three-day. Um, let's see. This opened up on the 9th, so this is a brand new weekly candle. So yesterday's weekly, a yesterday, the last three day candle, which was the uh, 16th, 17th, and 18th, as you can see, it was pretty pathetic. It did close in the red. Today, uh, as we open up a new 3D candle, we are still above the 8 moving average. We're still way above the 200 moving average. We're looking beautiful. All is good. This is a good sign. We're green. Let's see how it goes. We're at least on the three day beginning to start a new 3D candle sideways. 
But although the MACD is still trending towards the negative, even if it's open, even if it is positive, MACD above the signal, it's beginning to trend negative and it ain't changed yet. On the four hour, the MACD is positive. That's pretty darn rocking. Um, it's reflecting those pumps we saw recently in the, in the, in the recent hours. And the two hour MACD is looking good too, but it's beginning to close a little bit. So Bitcoin is sideways, but check this out. Bitcoin two hour chart. Love it. We've got this fib roll in here. It's been lining up very, very well with support resistance in the chart. And we're in this, this basically this wedge here. You know, basically by the uh, 22nd, we got to do something, you know. But we're really hanging out with this dot uh, two three six right around thirty six thousand five hundred. This has really been a place, kind of the average of this huge ten k range we've been swinging recently. Well, right now in the two hour chart, we're finally away from the two hundred moving average. We've been flirting with it way, 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 way too closely. We've broken above it. That's good. We're away from it, and we're also above that two three six fib line at thirty six thousand five hundred. So we got room to move. Let's look at that same two hour chart with all the fancy indicators. <laughs> all right, uh, directional index is in the green. ADX is too low, but it is moving up. It's at 13. RSI very high, KRI looking good. Wave trend oscillator is a bit extended. So in general, we're moving up. These recent pumps, I mean, we're just, I'm gonna call this just so neutral. Bitcoin is trending up. It's a wave trend to the moving average in the two hour chart. That's pretty rocking. I mean, but I'm still not jazzed yet. We're not seeing like any real powerful upward momentum to me. Like I wouldn't do, you know, a 5x long right now um, on Bitcoin. I'm just not confident enough yet. On the four hour chart, still well above the two moving average. Indicators are a bit flaccid there. Um, so really, we're starting this, uh, this business week looking Better than sideways. How about sideways with a slight upward momentum? Looking at the 45 minute chart for very, 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 very immediate price action. We are above the 200 moving average. This is very, very good. Uh, the Madrid ribbons are all green. The EMAs, directional index is in the green. Um, we're almost above 25, we're at about 22 for the uh, ADX. RSI is in a beautiful spot to turn up. KRI is low. And what I just don't like is how the uh, wave trend oscillator here is just, it's up too high. I still feel like we might be going into this a little bit. I don't know. I'm just, the indicators are weird. Sorry, it's just strange. There's a strange energy to Bitcoin right now. Um, I don't quite get it. That's why I am truly wondering if what I'm seeing in the in the charts that kind of beguiles me a little bit is how maybe we do have these big players doing OTC buying. And I just just a theory. Tell me what you think. Could it be that when you have enough of this OTC buying, it actually levelates? It takes all the highs and lows out of the market and makes it go sideways for Bitcoin because they're just using these big algos and they're just basically buying, 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 buying with in a deliberate way to not move the market. And that very well could to me. I've been watching the charts quite a lot this weekend and they're just weird. I get in the details, but it just doesn't feel right to me. It's sideways with a slight uptrend right now. Let's see how it rolls. I still feel weird. Okay, sorry. Um, dot versus BT. Uh, dot versus UST up top. Dot versus BTC on the bottom. Going into Monday sideways, ADA. Uh, let's just look at these here a little bit differently. I'll just rock these things really quick. In general, dot against uh, USDT up top, dot against uh, Bitcoin on the bottom is sideways. You know, um, ADA, ADA is kind of sideways going into this morning, into this uh, Monday, well Tuesday morning actually. Ethereum versus Tether up top, Ethereum versus BTC at the bottom. You can see against, of course, USDT, it made a nice run, and of course, and of course against um, BTC, it made a nice run. These are four-hour uh, candles, just so we can get a, because it's easy to see it this way. In general, it's setting up for a nice run, all about uh, Bitcoin dominance. If it continues going sideways or getting any lower, I think we're going to see a nice run here for Ethereum. I do love the Ethereum versus BTC trade right now. I'm not quite seeing the, in the indicators. You know what? I'm just not trading right now. I don't feel right about the market. Something's weird, okay? Um, I know that's, I, here I am, like, I probably look like some kind of a, like I, like a, I don't know, uh, um, crazy or something, just saying it doesn't feel right, but it doesn't feel right. Something's weird. Uh, uni against USDT, Uni against BTC on the bottom. Um, doing well, but dumping this morning. That is a 45 minute chart. Uh, Link, everyone loves Link, who doesn't? Let me just take those little things out of there. Link, USDT up top, uh, BTC uh, on the bottom. Um, this thing is basically going sideways with a downtrend this morning. 
Uh, Algo, everyone likes Algorand. It is it is basically against USDT and the and BTC completely sideways this morning. YFI, gotta love it. It's a cool DeFi coin. Dump in like crap this morning. This is a 15 minute chat. This is a 15 minute uh, chart though. Let's look here. Let's look at a 45. 45 minute. All right, on a 45 minute chart, this isn't so bad. We're above the 200 moving average. We're looking good, all is good, but it's definitely a downtrend. And, and looking at that 15 minute chart, which we did by chance uh, earlier just now, um, this thing's dumping pretty hard. So, Wi Fi, sorry, you've been only kicking ass, but well, not today. This has been the Bitcoin Daily View. And hey, like, share, subscribe, do all that stuff, comment, anything, even if it's just all go. Tell me, what do you think? Uh, how do you define all season? And then also, um, OTC. Do you think mass, massive OTC buying could be keeping the market sideways and levelating out any really highs or lows that swing traders that you know scalpers can really get a hold of? Not that they're not getting a hold of those swings. Not that everything isn't looking like reality is is centered. But there's something weird when I look at the charts. It just feels synthetic over the weekend and today. But I'm not synthetic, you're not synthetic, you are a Bitcoin truth seeker and you're part of the peaceful revolution. I'm glad you're here and I will see you tomorrow when we find out if the earth makes it past January 20th. Amen. Take care.